Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I'm going to finally finish this wall. Started this wall last year. You can see part one in the video description below. And I uh, got a few things still to finish up on the wall. So let's get started.
All right, I'm gonna call this project done. This wall has been a nightmare. Not really a nightmare, just a long process for a short return. <laughs> but it's finally done. I'm very pleased the way it turned out. I love the plywood up here. Um, it'll allow me to screw anything I want to it with no problems. There's only one wire running through this wall and it's right through here and it comes up to this outlet. Now this outlet is active and it is a switched outlet. I originally had plans to build a panel saw right here on this wall. Uh, changed my mind and that's what that outlet was for. I had a switched outlet so in case of emergency I could shut the saw off. But um, I changed my mind on the panel saw. I'm gonna leave this wall as is for now. Uh, eventually it will have a clamp rack and I'm considering a panel uh, clamping system right here. But I'm kind of wanting the assembly table that I built last week uh, right in front of this wall too. So I haven't really quite decided. Definitely for sure clamp rack is going to go right here and uh, I just haven't decided what on the other side. Let's go around to the lathe side of the wall and I'll show you what I did over there. So here on the lathe side of the wall, I got the lathe directly right behind me. Uh, I wrapped the other wall with more plywood right here. And again, I can screw whatever I want to it. Right now I've screwed a, uh, just a magnet tray that I find pretty handy around the uh, lathe just to hold a few screws that I use quite often. And in the, uh, in between the stud bay, I built that uh, shelving system uh, with uh, pins so I can adjust the shelving as I need it. And really it was only meant to hold, you know, stuff like my uh, polish and uh, maybe my calipers and, you know, stuff like that. But I actually had plenty of room at the top where, you know, on my exotic woods that I use, and if I had any left over, I can just cut them into a three quarter by three quarter blank, pen blank, and just store them up there until I'm ready to turn them. So I thought that was a pretty good use of that space. And uh, down here, um, I don't know what I'll put down there. Um, it's just more shelving if I need to. You might wonder what this thick section is for. That is where the wire for that outlet is coming from. So I just covered that up and I know not to put any screws or anything into that piece right there. And um, that protects that wire right there. So this would be the, I guess you call the laundry area now. It's uh, completely, almost completely enclosed. I still have this open area here where it's still open, but it does eliminate a lot of the sawdust from coming over here in the laundry area. Unfortunately, I don't have a separate laundry area where I can put the washer and dryer, so I do have to kind of share this space with my wife. Um, the walls are drywalled and painted, um, and she wanted a closed bar, and I just put a simple closed bar up here for her. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it over here. So I didn't really need to do the trim. I just think it finishes the wall off nicely, hides the plywood edge, and it kind of has a good transition between the plywood and the drywall where that drywall meets. Not that it's necessary for a shop or a garage, but I think it looks a little nicer and it's just what I decided to do. So that's all I got for you on this project. I'll put a link in the description for the first video where I studded the walls. And um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.